auto masking. Um, so topological, you can mask uh, with topology, but usually what that is, is if you have the move brush and you have a mesh like demo head here, and you want to like say move the upper lip but not the lower lip, that's when you would turn on move topological, let's change this to like 1.5. And now it's going to look at the topology. So if these, uh, there's like a mouth bag in there, you'll be able to move the upper lip separately from the lower lip. Alternatively, if you watch the blend shape video that I have on my YouTube channel, uh, that, was in, that was when I put it in, while I was in the hotel room at ZBrush Summit. I think it's just kind of sitting out there. Um, yeah, this one, ZBrush Maya Blend Shapes plugin. Um, you can you can set up polygroups and stuff for this. You can hold on control and rotate, and you can mask the upper and lower as well. So, uh, but for masking uh, topologically, you can do the same thing. You just turn on topological, and then when you're masking, let's change this range down. I think it works the same way. Uh, maybe not. Mask topological. Hmm, doesn't seem to be working that well. But usually I use it with the move brush. Uh, to use back face plus a move tool, I recently found how useful it is to adjust thickness on hard surfaces and get some interesting volumes. That, no, but that's a good point. Uh, yeah, definitely do that. So when you're using, you just got to be careful. Uh, so when you, so make polymesh 3D. So while you're doing this kind of stuff, and then, you know what, let's just dynamesh this so we can see it a little bit better. Uh, so we're moving this and then moving this around and with the move, it just moves like this. Also, if you want to move out, pull out the points, you can go up here to the curve menu and you can say AccuCurve and you can pull out to like sharp corners. So this is a way to kind of go through and maybe make some sharp corner adjustments in your mesh, sometimes useful, uh, usually on thinner meshes so that your brush radius, you can like pull in the corners like this and then pull out the corners like this. like so. But anyway, uh, if you have the move brush, it's just going to move. Let's turn AccuCurve off. So we're, have, we're moving with our move brush. And then if you turn on um, back face masking, you can go through here and you can move uh, with back face masking turn on and it, you know, change thickness and stuff like that. It'll automatically mask whatever's behind. Uh, of course, you know, you want your mesh to move predictably. So you know, be, just be aware that that's turned on. Uh, also, the reason this was brought up last time is, for example, if you're sculpting through here and you're dynameshing, it's going to pull through and make very thin meshes. So make sure you have back face masking turned on. Anyway, we went over this stuff already last um, stream. It's on Pixelogic stream, but when I, I'm going to do a compilation playlist for all of these things. So it'll be in one nice playlist when it's all said and done.